start living from birth to death inside of this maximum security prison. From growing up as a criminal kid to being an old veteran of the prison, it's my goal to survive 99 years to escape. What? Oh, uh, what the? Am I a baby? It's a boy. Oh, by the Cosmic King's beard, he's so beautiful. Um, Goo Goo Gaga? Oh, isn't he just... Now, if you just follow me, you have some documents to sign. Uh, bye, Mom! Bye, Mr. Nice Doctor Man! Guido! Guido, what the heck is going on here? Why am I trapped in the body of a baby? Uh, Guido? Oh, no! Where is he? He never leaves my side! Ah, oh, this isn't good. Looks like I've got to do this by myself. Not really sure where I am right now. I better investigate further. Looks like there's a bunch of surgeries and laboratories. This kind of feels like some kind of hospital or something, which would make sense, considering I was just born for some reason. There's got to be a reason I'm in this body. Okay, let me keep looking further here. Wait, Mom! Uh, let go of me! Not until you sign those papers. We want the boy to become a cop like us. Oh no, my mom is in danger and look! That looks like a prison! Guess I know where I am now. Never! I don't want my baby to become a crooked cop! Then I have no use for no! you! No! Leave her alone! Oh, I've got to do something! Aha! Hiya! Let her go, officer! So, you really made your choice, huh? That's right! I'll never become a cop! Oh, that newborn baby sounds like a fully grown man! <gasps> no! Mom! Oh, jeez, so much ketchup! <laughs> Take this, you monster! Oh, man, out of ammo! You know, I could finish this right here. But you know what? I'll keep you here in the prison for the rest of your life instead. My men will be keeping a close eye on you, punk. Oh, I'm sorry this happened to you, Mom. Even though I only knew you for about 30 seconds, I promise you... I will escape this prison in your memory! <sighs> well, it's been 10 years since I first got locked up in this dump. And every single marking on this wall represents just one of my many failed escape attempts. I tried to climb the fence. Come on, come on. Ah! Tried to parachute out. Woohoo! Oh, no! Oh, hell. But you know what? I'm feeling positive. I'm pretty sure that my next attempt is going to be the one that gets me out of this stink hole. Now, the cops did get sick of me trying to escape and tied me to the bed, but there's no way I'm going to let that stop me. Hey, Whoa. quit talking to yourself. It's feeding time. Eat. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, what's on the menu today? What does it look like? It's a greasy burger. Now eat up before I change my mind. Hmm, well, I'm not really hungry, but I could use the grease on that burger to loosen up the rope on my leg here, and... Bingo! Oh, man, it is so good to be able to move around. Okay, now I just gotta get out of these bars. Oh, man, they're locked! There's gotta be some way that I can get through them. Maybe I can, like, saw through these bars or something, but uh, I don't really have anything I could use for that. Psst. Hey, trying to escape, huh? I'll trade you that burger for a knife. How in the multiverse did you get a knife? You know what, never mind. Deal! Here, take it! Cash! Yeah, got it! Thanks! Uh, oh no! No, the guard hurt me! Okay, gotta get through these bars here. Uh, come on, come on, and... Uh, okay, it's gone! Oh my gosh, the guard's coming back! Want some ketchup on that burger? Well, this is really not a good look. I've got to get rid of the body. And I've got the perfect idea. Okay, now he's dealt with. Let's get out of this cell block and into the prison yard. Uh, Did someone just die up there? Can you okay, really into these bushes, Steve. Come on, we can do this. Check. Guess not. Let's continue standing here doing this. Yeah, it it nice and easy. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely crazy. Can't see any guards in front of me. So now I just need to sneak through this way, and there should be just in this direction. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, I could probably climb over this fence. Here we go. Oh, or it could just open for me. I guess that's more convenient. Check around this corner before we progress any further. Oh, I told you, Mama. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, please open up. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. I've never been this close before. Up the fence. Oh my gosh. Hey, Steve. G Guido, it's been 10 years. Where have you been? I'm sorry, Steve. It took me a while to find you. Seems like a portal motherfucker. 
function in the checkpoint and left you in the body of a baby. Uh, listen, what's important is that I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> no need, Guido. As you can see, I'm getting out of this prison myself. We got a runner, boys. I want every officer to head to the east side of the prison. No, Steve. No? What do you mean, no? As soon as you climb that fence, the cops will know exactly where you are. You've got to stay in the prison for a little while longer. What? No, I want to get out now. Have some patience. My plan will be much more effective. Just make sure you find the clue in the cafeteria, okay? Clue in the cafeteria? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Hey, guys. Fancy seeing you here. Wait. Don't kill him. We're gonna make him work instead. Wait, doing work? No, just kill me instead! <sighs> I've been working in this cafeteria for 10 years now, and I still have no idea what clue Guido was talking about. I've literally searched every single corner of this place from the table with the three twins, over in the janitor's area, but there's still no sign of this clue. Maybe... Hey, maybe it's in the kitchen. Yeah, I haven't been in there just yet. Where do you think you're going, kid? Oh, it's one of Sergeant Shaw's men. Well, I think it was obvious, don't you? I was gonna go into the kitchen. Uh-huh. Sergeant Shaw was very clear. You work as a cleaner, not in the kitchen. In fact, whoops, I spilled my drink. <sighs> I'll clean it up for you. Oh, I'm never gonna find that clue. <sighs> Better clean up this soda. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, someone make me a snack. I'll take one of those pizzas. Oh, that god is such a jerk. But if he wants a pizza, then I think I've found the perfect ingredient to make it extra tasty. <laughs> Yoink! Oh, this is gonna be so disgusting. But he really deserves this, okay? So let's go check this out. Aha! Right there, those are the pizza toppings. I'll just drop this little guy inside. And it looks like it's order up. Oh, I really wish Guido was around to see this. But if this works, I should be able to find the clue inside of the kitchen. Okay, there's the guard. Let's bring this over. Hey, man, sorry for the delay. Wanted to make sure this pizza was extra special. Finally! <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this. Okay, gotta make sure I'm hidden. What? Yeah. Okay, he shouldn't be able to see me watching from over here. Come on, take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that is so gross. Hey, where you are you going, God? I, God? I hope you've left out. room for dessert. <laughs> now that he's dealt with, I can finally access the kitchen without being interrupted. Hey, man, compliments to the chef. Really good job on that rat pizza. Okay, so there should be a clue here from Guido. Not really sure what I'm looking for. There's nothing in the ingredients area, not in the pizza ovens. That dish needs to be cleaned. Maybe it's by the knives or the microwave or in this trash can. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a spoon! Seriously, Guido? Ah, well, that's disappointing, but there is a note attached to the spoon. Take the spoon and dig the ground at the X to find a hidden reward. Interesting. All right, now I've got the spoon. I just need to find this X. Uh, maybe through this fence. Let's just clamber up and over. There we go. Through the barbed wire. That didn't hurt at all. Haven't been to this side of the prison before. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. This has got to be the X that Guido was talking about. Okay, so I guess I'll just dig this up. There we go. Get right in there with the spoon and... Hey, there's a little box. All right, let's see what we've got in here. So we've got a police outfit. What the heck would I need that for? And also a walkie-talkie. Very interesting indeed. Let's see if this police outfit fits. Ah, snug as a bug. Wonder how convincing it is. Let's try it out on these fellow prisoners. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, it's a cop. Oh, so it is convincing. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm actually a prisoner, see? Don't lie to me. I just saw you change into that cop outfit. Wait, what? No, you misunderstand. I'm a prisoner, and I just wore that cop outfit to test it. I don't believe you. Stay away from me. Wait, no, guys, come back, please. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Steve? For the next step of the plan, you'll need as many prisoner friends as possible. Oh, well, I wish you'd tell me that before I annoyed them. We're gonna have to delay the rest of the plan until you regain the prisoner's trust. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that sounds like it could take a while. It's been two years. Surely they'll talk to me now. Hey, what's going on, guys? Just uh, pumping some iron? Getting physical? Don't talk to him, boys. He's a cop. I already told you I'm not a cop. 
I was just wearing the outfit to- No chatting during quiet time. You know what? Forget about it. I'll just go back to my cell. What the? What is that? Uh, oh my gosh! Dude, the cops and the prisoners are fighting! Now I've got to choose who to side with. I mean, that's easy. I'll never be a crooked cop! Take this! Oh, geez, sorry, Butterfingers. Come on, guys, we got this! Oh, geez. Oh, I'm really bad at this, I'm sorry. Come on, one more cup, and yes! We did it! You saved us. I guess maybe you're not a cop after all. Of course I'm not a cop. As far as why I need you, uh, Guido, any ideas? You need these guys to help you break into Sergeant Shaw's office. Wait, what? No, that's going to be way too risky. Trust me, Steve. It's the only way to escape from this prison once and for all. Okay, fine. I guess we just got to wait for Sergeant Shaw to leave his office first. This shouldn't take long, right? Almost finished with my work. Just need a little more time to get it done. There, all finished. Evening, officer. Nice work on keeping your uniform clean. Uh, yeah, thanks, boss. Okay, guys, you can come out. That's it, we need a human tower all the way up to Shaw's office. Okay, everyone steady? I'm climbing up. Very slowly. Yeah, well, Guido, I've got to be careful here. They are my friends now. Ugh. Okay, we made it. Good. Now get inside of Sergeant Shaw's office, and you're looking for a big red button. Oh, yeah. I can see the big red button. It's big and, well, yeah, it's red. Uh, do I have to press it? Do it, but be warned. Once you do this, life in the prison will never be the same again. Pressed it. Oh. Attention. Prison release triggered. All inmates will now be released from their cells. Wait, what? All the prisoners are being released from their cells? That's right, Steve. It's going to be the perfect distraction to allow us to move on to the next step of the plan. Once the prisoners find the armory, chaos is going to break <laughs> out. Yeah, now we've got a police versus prisoner war. We've got the cops' territory on the left side of the prison and the prisoners' territory on the right. I'll need a little time before the next step of the plan. Be safe, Steve. Oh my gosh, Guido, this war is crazy! Please tell me that you've got that plan sorted out now. It's been so many years! Good news, Steve. It's finally time for the plan to go into action. But I'm going to ask you to do something crazy here. You need to go onto the cops' territory, get to the maximum security cell block, and find a prisoner called the Technician. The Technician? I've never heard of a prisoner called that before. That's because they're in the maximum security cell block. Lots away from the rest of the prison. Okay, well, I'm heading into the police territory now. I'll tell you what I find. Here we go, maximum security. Whoa, you can feel the mood change as soon as you step into here. Hello? Is anyone in here? I'm looking for the technician. Um, okay, I mean, I guess I'll go into the main block. Whoa, look how secure these doors are. I think they're made of titanium or something. Whoa, okay. So somewhere in here is the technician. I better find them. I'm literally gonna have to go cell block by cell block until they show themselves. Hmm, no one in here. Okay, let's try this one! Uh, Chris? You're the technician? Steve! It's so good to see a friendly face! Chris, you are literally the only prisoner in this maximum security section. What did you even do? Uh, you know what, never mind. Why are you in here? What about Austin? Hmm? Oh, they'll be fine, I'm sure! I'm in danger. What brings you here? Uh, well, I was supposed to find you because apparently you know the next step of the plan. Oh, escape plan number 319? Let me show you. Escape plan number 319 involves digging a huge tunnel under the prison, leading under the fence and back into the outside world. The only thing we'll need is a gang of prisoners to help us dig the tunnel. It'll take us a while to recruit them, but once we do, the cops won't see this plan coming. Okay, sounds good. And can you tell me why it's called Escape Plan 319? Uh, because the other 318 escape plans I devised all failed miserably? That doesn't fill me with a bunch of confidence, Chris. Oh, I've been waiting for years for Chris to get this tunnel ready. <laughs> Any second now, it should be done. Steve! Uh hey! I know it's been a while, but the tunnel is finished! Wait, what? Meet me at the spot and we'll finally get out of this dump! 
Ah, I've got so much energy now. All right, I've just got to get to the spot now. Uh, oh! Hands up, old man. You're on police territory. Wait, no, please. Oh, I was so close. I got to get rid of these cops somehow. Uh, wait, they think I'm an old man, so I can just... Oh, 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 my chest. Ugh. Huh, he's dead. You must have scared him too hard. All right, let's keep moving. Those cops are so dumb. Now I'll just get over to Chris's location and get the heck out of here. Okay, the spot should just be around this corner. Oh no. No, 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 I was so close. I mean, ahem. <clears throat> but wow, Sergeant Shaw, you haven't aged a day at all. Oh, it's all come down to this, Steve. I was there when you were born, and now I'm here at the end. You're not. Leaving this prison. Oh, wait, Steve, think about it. Shaw thinks you're an old man. No way he's going to be expecting this next move. Oh, yes, Shaw, you're so right. I'm just a pathetic old man that can't do anything. Take this. Oh, it worked. I can't believe it worked. And that means just around the corner should be Chris. Come on, let's go! Oh my gosh, this is the tunnel, this is amazing! Down the ladder I go, and oh, freedom awaits! Lead the way, Chris! I left a gift for Shaw and the rest of those crooked cops. I hope they like it. Wait, what? A gift? Boom! Dude, no way, I hear the outside world! Uh, oh, it's been 99 years, but I finally escaped the prison! Welcome back, Steve. Nice beard. Oh, I'm so glad we're reunited. Sorry about that. Looks like one of the portals at the checkpoint malfunctioned. But I can finally bring us home. Then let's go then. Austin! <coughs> hey, Multiverse, you're back, Chris. 